just, you know, on perspective. It's all about a matter of perspective, mm -hmm. right? So sometimes putting on makeup, like in Kabuki face as well, too, it's the mm -hmm. theatrical aspect of it. You can gain a sense of understanding of someone's culture, even though you're not of that culture, you know? So in that regard, I mean, I think racism, right, can be flipped to actually being a positive if you really get down to the thinking of it. When you're, when you're talking about kabuki, you are talking about a very, very specific art, and everybody who does kabuki puts on the white face. So it's not just Japanese folks that do it. So whenever you're doing kabuki theater, you are going to have the extreme white face, you're going to have the dimples, you're going to have the little pinched lips, Every person who goes on stage has that. And so, will it give you a sense of what it means to be in that character in that moment? Sure. And if that is part of your prep as an actor, as a performer, then I would say make sure you're doing it in the privacy of your own home with no cameras around because... Yeah, Those cameras we'll, get you. You're, well, the world, take, the world <laughs> takes things... You're talking about context earlier, and the mm -hmm. world takes everything out of context, even if you're meaning the most, like, awesomeness for everyone, you know, regardless of, you know, whatever you believe in or whatever your tone of your skin is. Mm -hmm. Well, and I'll get to that in a minute because I'm going to talk about impact and intent. Okay. 